Boo. Hey, we're recording. It's uh, August 26, 2021. This is the dev sync for the Mycroft development team. Uh, OK, so we're going to kick it off with Derek. Uh, we're working on a little promo video. Uh, and uh, we're putting together, uh, well, we're actually taking a look at the, um, the state of the software uh, as it pertains to getting uh, some, you know, some, some good footage of the Mark II in action for the video. So, yeah. So, um, yeah. So the idea is to, to shoot with the latest, but there were uh, most of the skills actually had some um, stuff that it wasn't in the latest yet. So Chris helped me get mine uh, up to date uh, via Git. Uh, so I've got all the, you know, not latest, <laughs> but you know, most recent. Um, contributions on it. And so that's what you see in the video. And I went through all, um, I went through our demo script that we typically had been doing in the past and filmed that it's up on YouTube. Um, that is private for the time being. In fact, I don't think we can even make it public for the community, unfortunately, because uh, at least with that demo, um, when we did Pandora, we used a copyright song. So I could do one in the future that doesn't do Pandora. And um, we could share that publicly. But um, well, well, if you ended the video with, and now music, and you launched Pandora, and then faded the black, that would be fine. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I could I could edit the Pandora part out, but I just can't. Like as is, YouTube won't let us. Right, right. They'll they'll flag it for copyright infringement. Um, yeah, I didn't do any editing. I just threw it up there. Uh, so anyway, yeah, take a look. Um, I think I mean, we, we all saw the things that, um, you know, stood out to us. I mean, there's some kind of funky GUI interactions where some of the GUIs are kind of persistent when they should be cleared, but this is all stuff we kind of knew about. It was going to be addressed in the, the, the sprint. Um, the thing that, that I think concerns me the most is the stop behavior. And I don't think we can just say necessarily that it's specifically the to like, I was seeing a lot in the news, but then I saw Pandora, you know, Des mentioned it could, it could actually be present in, you know, a lot of other skills too. It's just maybe coincidence that I'm seeing it, you know, in um, some cases, but I think that's the biggest thing that sticks out to me. Otherwise I'm pretty, pretty happy with the progress. Um, so yeah. And then, uh, you know, the thing we're talking about is, you know, the, the person we're partnering with to create these these promo videos is it would be an ongoing partnership. Uh, so there's definitely some some parts missing. You know, there's not GUIs for any of the play the common play stuff. We can send him a device, um, and he can film some of that stuff again when we get it get it in play. Um, but uh, the other the other stuff is just me getting the, a Mark II that's going to be photograph ready. So that's. That's actually honestly the more time consuming part. Um, but uh, that's what I'm going to do. But, you know, I like, you know, this process now that we got in place, you know, we should just keep this going where we create this video every week and upload it. Okay, cool. Did you want to keep doing that, uh, you know, outside of the dev sync? Just do like a. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, yeah, that would be great. yeah, I think it would be good. It would be good if everybody, you know, if we did this like every Thursday, mm -hmm. you know, and I try and get it uploaded like at least an hour before the dev sync and everybody takes time. I mean, that's going to be five to 10 minutes at most. You know, everybody takes time to watch it before the dev sync. Um, that would be great. So that I can commit to that. That sounds great. Uh, did you, um, did you come up with a list of bugs that you need fixed? Uh, for well, building purposes or um i think i can work around everything at this point the stop stuff doesn't it's inconsistent it's not every time um so we can work around it and then you know guess that he he was gonna try and get the news gooey in there if i wanted it um but like chris mentioned it's going to be inconsistent because pandora it's just not going to happen so um yeah, I mean, if it's not a lot of effort, you can maybe throw it in there for me. But uh, well, remember, you don't have to say play Pandora. You can you can um, subscribe to a channel and just say play, 
the channel name or just play in general something um and then nobody would know what you were actually using to play in your video right well yeah but then i just i think i was just talking about the fact that we're not going to have any gui for, for music playback although we could for news playback because it's you know there's kind of some work that already been done there that could quickly be right okay but that, well, that, that, that that's a nice that's just a nice to have it's nice to have when we get the news gui but that's still i think at this point that's the only thing i'm gonna, gonna right need. Okay, well, I'll leave that between you and Gez to figure out if you want to get the the latest and greatest news GUI up there. Um, oh, the other thing, Chris Chris was going to add um, the latest uh, home screen change mm -hmm. that he's been working on that would just add, it would add the weather icon, the current weather, and after I set an alarm in the demo, the alarm icon will pop up on the home screen. Cool. It might also I don't know this, but it may may clean up some some of those weird GUI interactions that you're having too. Because yeah. no, it won't. Well, the, the, that's because I'm during the demo. I stack things pretty quickly, so like I'm doing the skills right after each other. And, sure. You know stuff. You know we have this thing where, you know the 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 GUI is persistent for 30 seconds. You know unless otherwise, unless you know like timer or something where you've explicitly stopped it. Um, so something's happening there, uh, where the things are getting stacked up. Of course, when we shoot the video, I don't have to do it that way. Right. You know, I can, yeah, I can more control okay. whatever, but so, you know, you'll see it like, so you'll see it in the demo video if you keep watching, like if, if like it goes back to the tool, to one of the weather forecast, um, pages when it should clear out. Okay, I'll, I'll, that sounds like that's a bug report on a GUI stacking up like that because you should be able to interrupt a GUI and you know we can interrupt the audio. Why can't we interrupt the GUI and have it replaced with a new screen? Well, so, it does get replaced. It's just when that interaction ends, it goes back. To the right, order. which is right, which is a bug. Yeah. 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 Well, it's, yeah, it it was Probably. it was put in there intentionally, but the yeah. but the way that it the 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 way that it is appearing at the moment is a bug, but like, but the, the functionality of stacking screens is a, is a feature. Yeah. I mean, it should only return to a, a previously interrupted skill. Uh, if that skill is like a persistent skill, right? Like, so if you, if you interrupt the music to do something, yeah, sure. Overlay your new screen on top of it. And then when you're done, you go back to the music, the music keeps playing, the GUI comes back, you know, that kind of makes sense. Hmm. Um, but, we'll, we'll get so into thought, that in I the next this was, screen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I thought, thought the GUI interaction stuff. Yeah. Right, right. This was all going to get resolved in the GUI interaction or the well skills interaction. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. Well, that's that's fine then. Um, okay, great. Um, so there, you're going to get a little bit more help to put some other updates on there, but you, it looks like you're pretty good to go. Yeah, I'll meet with Chris again tomorrow to get the. Um, you know, it should go real quick to get his um, home screen stuff on there. Okay, great. And then I'll just be back in the shop, paint, painting up the Mark II and getting it looking good. Cool. Do you literally paint it? What do you paint it with? Just spray paint. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, I mean, you know, you, you do it, you're careful and, you know, do light coats, it looks pretty good. All right. Uh, so we spent a good chunk of yesterday going over uh, miscellaneous uh, important agenda items. Um, so I want to get back to uh, going through the status of the the sprint and the, the skills. Um, but before we do that, a couple, just a quick update, I think. Let's see. Nope. No, I don't have anything. Okay. Yeah, we can just go through the uh, sprint status. Do, do, do. Throw it up here. Mike, it was October 20th to 30th cast in stone yet? Because Sarah asked me to hold off, but the longer I hold off, the more chance it's going to be I'm not going to be able to get my booking. Oh, uh, contact her about that, because I think she was booking plane tickets a couple days ago. 
She was what? She she was booking plane tickets a couple days ago. Well, yeah, it wasn't plane tickets, but it was about oh. accommodations because uh, yeah, I guess I'm going to pay first, and then you guys will reimburse me a certain amount each day that I was out there. Um, she wants okay. to because you know I'm not going to an Airbnb, um, and I'm going to you know be in something a little more expensive, and I'll cover the the overage. Gotcha. But, um, but somehow that turned into well, I'll just do it, and then they'll reimburse me, which is fine. But she said hold off until I have, you know, the exact dates. And I thought it was definitely the 20th to the 30th. When, when was that? That, you had that? that was yesterday. I'm, well, I'm confused because if they're booking plane tickets, we have to know the dates. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, uh, all right, I'll follow up. Right. Yeah. And CC me on it, please. Okay. Thanks. Okay. So I'm going to show a window over there. Okay, so here is our Sprint 21 status board. Um, how are we doing on the home screen, Chris? Hmm, you're muted. Sorry, there's, uh, we're getting there. There's ancillary PRs and other skills that are have been submitted. Um, the home screen skill itself still needs a little bit of work. Uh, not much though. And I did not work on it today pretty much at all because I was dealing with PRs for other things and um, helping Derek out. So today was not a very productive day as far as home screen skill goes. Um, but I will probably spend some time on it this afternoon. Still hoping to get it done um, tomorrow, but if nothing else comes up. And now you're muted, Michael. That's clever. Um, so, OK, so on the timer skill, um, this is a known issue. Uh, we need to get marketplace approval. I have, um, uh, I've been doing the testing for 20.2.1. Um, OK. Uh, just got the pack off to go. Uh, and then so I should be able to release that today. Um, yeah, that's that's the blocker really. Once that's out, we can move forward with getting the Docker container ready and getting some tests run. Yeah. So once I release, then Chris is going to update the Docker stuff, and then we should be able to merge the uh, the skill. Great. That's awesome. Hmm. Okay. Uh, do to do. We moved that into the next sprint, future sprint. So really, we're down to just two things now. That's great. Okay, well, we can stop looking at this then. Um, Chris, are you, have you had a look at the new skill PI yet? I have not. I was hoping to get my time, my home screen skill done first, but right. again, I'm not spending time on it today. So <laughs> I, I, I will look at it. Cool. It's, it's, it's a bigger PR, so that's why I'm kind of putting it off until I have time to really sink my teeth into it. <laughs> oh, yeah, you know, I did, uh, yeah. I, I skipped the news improperly. I was looking at the future sprint for the GUI, not the audio. Okay. Well, and well, so for the GUI, there's you know there's all the blank space, blank cells that we haven't looked at yet. Yeah, that's this that's this upcoming sprint. So yeah. Yeah. for the next yeah. sprint, yeah. Yeah. So anything that's blank is basically for the next sprint. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, those those notes must be there for some other reason because we had. Um, uh, I don't know. Maybe we had a different status in there at some point, and I replaced it with that. I don't know. Anyway, the future. Um, oh well, the I think the music skills they're going to have to wait for the music sprint. Right. Yeah. For yeah. Sure. So that's the future sprint. Oh, they're that, like yeah. they're not in the GUI sprint. Right. As uh, same as and the news too, because that they all. Right. The news and music are all going to use common play. So. Yeah. 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 Date, time, and home screen are also kind of bundled together once the home screen's done. There's going to be a have to be a small effort. Well, I don't know how small, but it's an effort to you know move skills around a little bit to make the date and the time skill work and the old date time skill not work. At least on the mark two. Gotcha. Um, but we're not like deleting the date time skill from the marketplace. No. Right. No, but we do need to 
we do need to have a think about how we make sure that it's not that we don't have the date skill, the time skill, and the date time skill all on the same device. We should we should probably deprecate the date times. Our market is deprecated somehow. Yeah, um, there's, really, there's really no reason to have all three of them on, on the marketplace. But yeah, you yeah. should probably say maybe maybe 2202, it, it'll go away or something like that. Yeah. Okay. Um, let me write that down. All right. Uh, well, let's go around uh, the room and get any other status updates you want to share. Uh, Giz, oh, I get you while you're yawning. <laughs> yes. Uh... Yeah, so I've been doing testing for the core release. Um, got a new stable image out um, for the Mark II, um, which resolves the um, the, uh, the the boot issue that we had with Secure Boot. Um, um, the one thing I noticed um, the other day, yesterday maybe, uh, is that. Um, Panacore are making um, some progress on support for the 510 kernel. Um, so that will be very, that is something that would be very great for us. So I'm reaching out to them to, to have a chat about when we might be able to make that jump um, because that adds things like um, uh, GPU support, um, which we currently don't have on the Mark II image. Um, and so that causes problems when you're trying to do like video at higher resolution and things like that. So, um, yes, that'll be awesome. Um, so just thought I'd throw that out there. All right. Well, that's cool. Um, let's see. All right. Well, uh, let's go to Chris Bear then. Yeah, so as I mentioned earlier, I spent most of my day doing things other than I was supposed to. Um, Chris made, Gesling made a good comment on a change I made to the Mark II skill that is probably not implemented the way that we wanted to. So I've been looking, I spent some time today looking into that. Um, it happens to work for the home screen skill because the only thing the home screen skill does is do an idle, an idle screen. But, uh, but yeah, it could potentially break for other things. So I'm looking into that. Um, because that is going to be a prerequisite, one of the one of the prerequisites to having the home screen scale done. Um, either that, or I just rename the QML files, which I could do as well. I just, you know, the, the hard coding in the marketing skills was bugging me. Um, and yeah, worked with, uh, you know, spent some time looking at all the different skills and where, what, what state they were in so I could help Derek with his getting his um device set up with the right whatever the most recents are. So just a little bit of this, a little bit of that today. All right, sounds good. Ken. So I refactored the uh, Cal confidence routine, but the issue really is, um, and I guess this is a Gez question. Uh, I've got a bunch of words embedded in here that I use to extract the topic. They're basically like pronouns and and verbs. Um, where do I store those outside of the common query framework so they will be translated? not in the skill, it's in the common query framework. And so the question is in core, when we have words that need to be translated, where do they live? Okay. So I'll put them there. Hmm. 
No, 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 it's not. That That's what was in the DuckDuckGo and Wikis, and that's going to have to be addressed because of that triple nested loop. But I've chosen to, since I'm just looking for word count frequency matches, I've converted the list to sets and subtract them. And, and part of the reason for that is touching upon the next topic, which is I also wanted to understand why it takes so long, right? As you guys saw yesterday, it takes between five and six seconds for the common query uh, framework to finally resolve when it's gotten a response, who to dish it off to before something actually starts playing. And I know why a portion of that is, and it has to do with going through every skill in the active skills array that's in there, and it could be voluminous because they tend to linger. So that's serialized, right? Call his converse, wait for a response, call his converse in a loop. I can't do anything about that with this architecture, but what I can do is I can take the calculation query that is being done in common query and I can optimize that. And so that's what I was doing with sets. Uh, and then the other thing is I'll also, um, I started looking at trying to fix the common query timeout and that that's a known bug that it's mistaken a value that it thinks is in seconds, but really is in milliseconds. So once I, find that again. I've already fixed that once before. So once I find that again, I'll fix that and commit that as well, um, which is why it keeps timing out um, even when it gets responses and it's been given the true flag that they're being worked on. Uh, so that I'll get around to as well. Um, I have. I have. Yeah. I, I, again, I, I suspect the lion's share of the slowness is in uh, serialized converse invocations, and I can't do anything about that. Uh, and then, Yeah, I don't know. I have mixed emotions. I looked at it. Uh, for the use cases that he's targeting, I think it's fine. It's not clear to me it's not going to be problematic in other use cases, but I haven't had a chance to actually flesh those out beyond just thinking from a high level, how's that going to work? So I haven't gotten into that yet. Uh, I will try. Um, there was also a boot issue that my Mark II hit, um, which Michael believes might be due to Google speech to text. But I don't think it's that because once it boots, speech to text is working. I believe something has changed down in the Google connection code uh, during startup to determine whether we have Wi Fi or not. But I don't know that. And, and that's what I worked on today. I'm only working on tomorrow. Okay. So you're going to be continuing to work on optimizing and uh the common query stuff for yeah the only thing that's really holding me up because i got it all refactored and working is i just need to, needed to know where to put those words because they really need to be in a file somewhere so that we have a half a chance of people translating them right and right. then uh now that i know where to put them i'll go ahead and put in the code to bring them in as a list and parse them in instantiation so it doesn't get done every time and that could also be a little bit slow because you know it, it goes through them and everything every time so i'll I'll get all that, but I should have this all wrapped up by tomorrow. Okay, great. Um, let's see. Uh, well, I guess that's it, right? Uh, Derek, you've had your say. I, I don't have anything new. <laughs> <laughs>